Howdy folks, welcome back to Fade of Paint Garage. Today we're going to be working on wipers. Um, this truck doesn't have any right now. There's no wiring. I do have a 12 volt wiper motor that's installed. I think that's the original one. I have bought a new switch to put on the inside. Um, I've got some old wiper arms that I think will work. I did order some new universal Trico ones um, that are supposed to work for this truck, but the, you can adjust the length and the angle and all that, so they should work. But I think the ones I have are okay. They're actually getting kind of hard to find for these older rigs I found, not to mention expensive. Um, but so we'll jump into that today. I don't remember these wipers ever working good when I did have them on the truck. Seems like at higher speeds using, they would just kind of bounce around the windshield and not work very well. So I always rain next it. And that's what I've been doing up to this point. Still good to have them. I'm sure it's the law. Um, so we'll uh, jump in and see if we can get the wiring figured out and get them working today. 56, the wiper motors mounted on the outside of the firewall. I believe the earlier years were on the inside, so that's a little nicer to work on as far as that goes. Um, the motor, this particular motor, has three wires feeding it. We've got a black, a red, and a green. The black is park. From what I'm reading, red is low and green is high speed, so uh, we'll wire it that way if it's backwards, it's not a big deal. It's just got press on connectors on the wiper switch itself. So, so this wiring stuff's not real ex exciting to film. So I'll probably just jump ahead. But so in behind this dash here, so we've got this blue wire here to the left, that's gonna go to my wiper switch that it was labeled. And these little bundle on the right side that are, don't have ends on them, I'll just tape them back up for future use. Okay, so I've got the inside wired up, switch is wired, so now we're gonna hook up the motor. So I'm gonna splice into this using these, oh, they, they're regular butt connectors, but they've got 3M shrink tube on it, so I can heat these up. So I like using those, it gives a nice tight, weather tight um, connection. Before I go any farther is let's test to see if these things work before I mess with zip tying and bundling all up so let's try that next oh I hear it it's working oh I got on and off I don't have high speed which could be those wires reversed but from what i'm reading is high speed all the wires are on uh, have juice at the same time so let me get my wire tester light tester and we'll see if all those wires are getting power at the same time they don't sound very good that's for sure that was interesting Did you guys see smoke? Because I smelt smoke and I think I saw it. So that's not a good sign. And it doesn't look like it's parking. So it's, I'm turning them on, but when it, the second I turn it off, it just stops. I'd say I've got some problems here. Um, when I just run the motor on the one speed that does work, smoke is starting to come out of the motor. So that is definitely not a good sign. Um, best I can tell, the wiring and everything is correct. So I'm getting power to black when it's off, which is the park. I mean, power to red when it's on low, power to green when it's on high, but I'm not getting another speed out of the motor. But when I'm running it on red, on low, the motor's, it's, like I said, it's giving up the smoke. So I think I'm just going to kind of pause here for now. And uh, I also noticed my, pivot arm here is really chewed up so that probably needs to be replaced before I monkey with it that other side's decent so I guess we're going to pause for now until I maybe see if I can get a different motor or see what the best approach for this maybe there's a way I can take that motor apart clean the contacts and stuff and make it happy again so 
stay tuned here. Well, fast forward one week and my new wiper motor setup has arrived. I decided to go ahead and ditch the factory since it was smoking on the one speed that I could get to work and the park in the fast wasn't working. So these are, I think I paid about 150 shipped off of eBay. Uh, seemed like the best deal. And this was a Dennis Carpenter um, kit. So hopefully that's, uh, it'll fit fine. This comes with a switch. A knob doesn't come with uh, the bezel which I just checked in the bezel off my other switch will fit on that so that should be fine of course it comes with the motor arms and then a harness so it's all pre-wired so this actually should go in pretty quick because I've already wired my wire to feed this guy and then I just assume I can get this through the firewall without a big struggle which we'll see I've got another grommet I could feed it through if uh, the one that I was using doesn't work. Uh, and then this arm ties that to the linkage, I think. I'll have to get on and see. It looks like I can, uh, once I <clears throat> unhook this part off the factory stuff, I think I can get the motor out without taking this arm off. There's kind of under the dash, I can show you, but there's a slot cut out of the firewall. This does not come with a gasket. If the factory one's um, not very good. I'll be, just build a gasket out of some gasket material. Should be pretty straightforward for that. Uh, so we'll get this guy put in. Okay, so we're taking out the factory motor. So I'm going to take out the nut here, I think, and leave this bracket on there. That's a splined piece, I believe. So anyway, on the factory one, it's got a nut 7 16 behind this on that shaft. So I've taken that out. So now we can pop this off, I guess, maybe I've got to do, I wouldn't think I'd have to take that off, that off. maybe it's just stuck from age, but there we go, so we've got that off, so now we're going outside and <clears throat> bolt the motor, so the bolts for the motor are, there's three of them, and they unbolt from the outside, the engine side. I wasn't able to get the motor out with the way that this was angled. It was kind of pointed up. So I reached center there with some pipe pliers and, and turned that. Uh, I do not recommend doing that with a good motor. I think that's bad, really bad for them. I would try to take this off and, you know, take it out without that on there, I guess. So um, anyway, I don't care about this one. I just wanted to get it out. So that's what I've done. Um, this gasket is not going to be reusable, so I'm going to go make another one. Get the, the brand new wiring I just put in removed since we aren't, aren't going to be reusing that. And get the new one ready to install. Got the new gasket made. So what I normally do is I just buy rolls of this gasket making material. They sell it in various sizes and thicknesses. So I always have a few rolls of that on hand. Um, I was able to get the factory one off. I mean, it's almost like tar paper. Um, but I ended up having to kind of redo it. I traced it out and then just cut this one hole out and then set it on the new one. The gasket, new gaskets on the new one and my lines were quite a bit off, but I'm not surprised looking at that. So I started out with just the center hole, rough, just roughed it in. It doesn't have to be precise here. Slid the gasket material over it and then just traced it out. Uh, the biggest thing that I would recommend is to get you a punch set like this and then some board and hammer to, to tap these out. You can see I've done a ton of them. It makes it really easy to punch these holes out. You can do these with a razor blade, but it's tough. And if you mess up, especially if it's like a carburetor gasket or something sensitive, these kind of take the, that difficulty out of it. As long as you can get those somewhat centered over the center of your hole and punch them out and then trace it up. This, this stuff's awesome. It's uh, well worth uh, having some around. So I had to cut the ends off of the one that come with the kit in order to get it to the firewall. I went ahead and ran it through where the speedometer cable goes. That's good 
path there to take from from where it's at. I probably should have did that before. Um, now I'll move to the inside, reconnect the arms to the motor, go ahead and put new ends on the wires and install the switch. That's all pretty cut and dry. And then I'll run the motor to where I can find where park the new park position is before I try to to put the wiper blades on. And as far as wiper uh, arms go, the the replacements that I'm finding are these adjustable by Anco. So there's your part numbers there. Um, if I can focus, 41-02. Uh, Rock Auto had these on clearance for like 11 bucks a piece. So I bought a few of them because uh, they're getting harder to get and they're getting expensive. But this is the bayonet style and the original ones are this hook style and that's what i bought for wipers is for the hook style which is this trico exact fit um 11-6 so uh, i think the original ones are supposed to be 12 inch but these are considerably cheaper with 11 so a little bit shorter but should be fine uh what i need to find is uh, a bayonet style that's 11 or 12 inches um, maybe in the future to use these arms, but I think these older arms that I have will be fine. This one here, um, and I'll just save these for later. I, I've got half, uh, I don't know, a thought of taking and welding a, the newer style hook onto this end here so I can use the hook style wipers, the beam style. So I might do that at a later point, depending on how because these are, th these are floppy. They don't fit on there very tight. I actually put the other in the vise and kind of pinch this area so it would fit on the wiper arm a little bit better because they just want to wobble back and forth like that so not they're definitely a, an aged design but something else that i will strongly recommend is purchasing a cheap wiper blade removal tool or wiper arm removal tool this little guy here um, several places sell them they're like 10 bucks but allows you to hook the arm here and you pull up on it to pry it off. And I wished I'd had this eons ago because I'd take the screwdriver or something and pry under here and just make a mess of taking these off. This makes it super simple, especially when you're putting it on and off, on and off to get it aligned. So put it on, run it for a little bit, see how I like it, put it back on there. So lots of fiddling around. Definitely recommend this little simple basic tool for removing those wiper arms. My new wiper pivot came in, so we'll get that installed. This is a 56 uh, only part, I believe. Um, I got this one from, it's. I got it off eBay, but it's a mid 50 part, 3004-56. From what I gather, the big difference is it has this little tab added to the end. And what that does is it hits the other arm um, as it goes to its end of rotation. Um, I guess it keeps the wiper from trying to pull, go over, over travel, which is hard on the the pivot um, from what I'm understanding. So this shouldn't be too bad to put on. I'm not sure what kind of seals this has. This is the only part I have, so I don't have any new seals, but we'll take it apart and, and look. And it looked like a 19 millimeter socket fit this nut the best. So there is a gasket on here. Uh, I'll just make something. It shouldn't be too bad. Looks. So we'll drop that down in there and get the other one put on. So I got the old one out and I do notice it does not have that tab on it that the 56 is supposed to have. So this maybe was a, you know, used from a previous year because that's what they had. But from what I'm reading, this isn't the correct part for this one. I've gone ahead and made a new gasket. It'll just slip on there. I think that'll work. It goes on there like that out of my gasket material. So try to put this on without dropping it back down in the cab. And I think it has a little slot in it right there, which I didn't note to see if this thing had that same spot to lock that in. I'm going to pull that out and look for a second. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I just had to spin it. So that's good. Let's see if my gasket will fit on there. I made it a little bit small so it would seal around the threads tight, but maybe... I overdid it. I don't know. So I can get it on there without tearing it. Seems to be going so far. Get that bag on there. Uh, 
Oh, it's turning that whole thing, darn it. Boy, that's annoying. I might have to take it out and run this nut down on there. Cause, boy, I'm just doing it hand tight. I'm locking the threads up. Let me pull it out. Maybe they got dinged or something. I might try to find a... See if I have a thread chaser that'll... Well, I don't want to fit on that. Yeah, so what appears to be the problem... This will focus. Look how poorly cut the threads are on the new one. They're not sharp at all. So I don't know if that fits the newer style nut on these or if this part was just not manufactured well. So I'm going to see if I can find a die that fits that. There's the correct one. See if I can't fix those threads. Well, I couldn't find a die to fit that. I don't know what that is. I think it's metric, but I don't have uh, the metric two point. Uh, it was a M M18 or M, yeah M18 or M16 with the 1.5 and a two point pitch wouldn't work. So what I ended up doing is just taking this nut, putting this in the vise, this piece, and then just kind of slowly working the the nut down on it. And I mean, I was able to get it to go. At least now I can get it started by hand. So we'll uh, see if that'll work and try again here. Okay, we're installed. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and make sure that nothing weird happens before I put the wiper on. Well, after scrounging around and thinking about different ideas of how to improve these wipers, I finally came up with something that I liked. What I did is scrounge through my pile of junk cars and pulled the wiper arms that, that have the newer style uh what do you call it a hook so this style here uh, so what i did is i took the bayonet style the bayonet piece that come on these universal wipers and then just basically copied that pattern onto the hook and uh basically you just drill tap the hole to match and then I have to grind it. It was a little too thick, so I had to grind it to be the right width to fit inside these little um, pieces that have a mating service with a bunch of teeth in it, so they can that angle can be adjusted. So I like that. I think that'll work well. Um, maybe gives me some better options for wipers. So I like these beam style. I don't like the looks of them on this truck, but they work so much better. They fit on the glass and ride better so i didn't have a 12 inch wiper blade to start with this is was an 18 so i just cut it down took the tips refit refitted the tips um i'll need to redo this when i kind of tore it up when i, I should have sliced the this with the razor blade but I, I just went right after it with a cutoff wheel and that didn't work very well so um really what took the most time was getting this arm to fit on the pivot there was some casting up inside this that wouldn't allow the the arm to fit down over the pivot all the way. So I had to take a die grinder and grind a bunch of material out of the up up inside this cavity and just kept fitting it, trying and fitting it. So I, I, that should work now. I hope the others aren't like that, but uh, I guess if they are. I'll I'll get to work on them. But uh, I think this will work fine, or actually better. Um, that that style wiper that um, that one's got the uh, hook style. No, are these? I don't know. So there's this style, and then there's that style. It's kind of get a little bit of a U on it. What? Let me should have one here to show you. There's this style here. So I don't know if that's considered the hook or or what, but um, and then the straight one's the bayonet style. Anyway, so this is what most white motor modern wipers have now. Um, anyway, those are floppy. I don't care for them. Um, so I think this fits better, will work better. What I don't get understand though, oop, I better put that on first. The passenger side has way less range of motion than the driver's side. I'm not worried about it because it's the passenger side, but look how little range the passenger side has versus the driver's side. I looked under there, the Pivot arm looks correct. It looks like the, the correct style for the 56. It's almost like maybe the arm going over here is the wrong length or something. But again, since it's the passenger side, I'm not too concerned about it. But it's it, <laughs> it looks wacky. 
Um, but like I said, I don't drive this in the rain much anyway, so I don't know if it's going to matter, but that between that and rain X, um, so I'll rinse and repeat. I'll, I'll do this same arm and blade on that stop on that side. Um, but there's really not much else to show you for now. So, um, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.